PlayToweredFenceGames.com, your free source of Towered Fence games. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Pokemon Tower Defense 2 Master Breeder. Alright guys, so in this episode, this is going to be the, the, the episode for, pa for patch 1.42. Going to take you guys on our journey to collecting all the Pokemon, every evolutionary state that Pokemon comes in, every gender that Pokemon can be found in. Obviously, they're all shinies, and then eventually getting them all to level 100. So, um, this patch was actually, this week was actually more focused on Cosmoids. There was also a lot of server issues he had to handle, so as far as in-game content in PTD2, there was not a lot. There was a lot of transfers, which we covered in our last episode of Master Collector. But the main thing is Blossom, which we're going to be evolving this episode. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is, um, I want to give you a final update on the whole trading situation, okay? So basically... Um, if you guys remember, like, two episodes of Master Breeder ago, I was talking about, uh, three guys who hadn't completed their trades yet, and the third guy who actually said that I'm not gonna give you back your Pokemon, you, cause, because, you, because of, because he, he had encountered my imposter, someone else, who had scammed him. Anyways, that guy, he finally got back to me. Um, let's just go ahead and check out this thing here. Um, he finally got back to me. Uh, we, let's just go over this first. So, so th this is the week that we're looking at right here. I didn't get any of these. Because these guys were the sh these guys were shadow and shiny for limited time. I actually didn't get any Buizels. I didn't get Melodic. I didn't get Girder. And I didn't get or Timber, and I didn't get or Feebas and Timber, and I didn't get Conkledur or Mianfu. I didn't get any of those shinies. Anyways, um, also for breeding, I have a breeding cycle going on right now. Uh, nothing new. I haven't been having any luck with breeding lately. Anyways, let's just get in here. Let's just get in here and do some random. Uh, come on, let's just get in here and do some random grinding. So, he got back to me and he said that I am not going to give you your Pokemon because, uh, because in your last episode, you, like you said that my friend scammed you, and apparently those two, the, the two people who scammed me, they're friends apparently. And so he says I'm not gonna. You know this is this, this is too hard. I'm just gonna. So apparently. Those, those two guys who scammed me, they're both friends, they both knew each other, so at this point, I'm not even sure if the imposter that they were talking about is made up or not. I'm not even sure. Anyways, they said that, he said that I'm not going to give you Pokemon, because you, uh, because you, because you called, you said that my friend scammed you. I said, well, the thing is, I said that because I, di I honestly didn't think that he did. He seemed like a nice guy, but his account on the forums was terminated. The only way that could have happened would be if he removed it himself, or if one of the mods banned him. Okay, and now what he thinks is that I reported him and got him banned, but I did not do that I would not do that because I have no way of contacting him now I have no way of I have no way of getting getting the Pokemon from him that I th that, that, that and e e Regardless of whether he took them or not I can't even confirm with him because I can't contact him anymore So whatever he did to get himself banned on the forums It had nothing to do with me and I believe in the integrity of the forums because they're officially like Sam put this on his blog. They are the official Pokemon Tower Defense trading forums, officially by Sam, the creator of the game. Obviously, they're not run by him, but he officially endorses them. So I believe the in, in the integrity of the forums. So if, if if they found a reason to ban him, I'm sure it was a good reason. That's why I choose to believe that he scammed me. And so he said, "I'm not completing your trade." And so then I was like, "You know what?" And he, he was he was he was actually really kind of nasty to me. I, I I felt like he he didn't say any bad words or anything to me, but the intent I felt like he just sort of hated me, kind of thing. Like because when he when he first originally approached me, he approached me really nicely, like a fan. He like he and he, and he just wanted to trade with me, and I was like, you know, yeah, let's just trade. Wow, these guys don't do any damage to them. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I was like, yeah, let's just trade. And so then he's like, you know what? And, and so then he and so then he then he he called then he he scammed me and he called me a scammer. And then he didn't give his Pokemon, and there was a huge wait, and finally, he comes back and he's like, you know what, you're a liar, and you're a liar and a scammer, and I'm not give, gonna give you your Pokemon. And so, I just felt so hurt by that, like, and I, I just been, that's why I didn't release a video yesterday, I was just so sad. Like, somebody who, like, was a fan, and was like, a viewer, now they just hate me, because of what they think I did, but, but I didn't actually do. And... It's just, it's really sad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to, 
Like, I, I proved to him that I didn't take his Pokemon. I don't even have... He, he thinks I took some shiny dogs from him or something. I don't even have those. I only have one set of shiny dogs. And those are the ones that I traded for um, back in the, in the early age episodes of Pokemon Tower Defense Master Collector. For Victinis. Um, anyways, so from this whole situation, it's just like... You know what? I just I was just like, you know what? I'm done. If you're not going to give your po the Pokemon to me, you know what? Fine. I just don't want to deal with somebody who's calling me a liar and a cheater. If you don't want to watch my videos, that's okay. But just don't call me a... Just don't say these these horrible things to me. It's, and I was just like, you know what? I... I I, I, I was just like, you know what? Keep the Pokemon. You win. You scammed me. Congratulations. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. <sighs> so anyways. Uh, like, uh, like, part of me, like, I, I still kind of believe that this whole thing is a huge misunderstanding. But the fact that he attacked me like that leaves me with no other option than, than just to say, you know what? I'm done. Keep the Pokemon. You know what? Just don't. Just don't. Like, I don't want to deal with it. I'm sorry. Like, I, I honestly think part of this, this whole thing is kind of a huge misunderstanding. But I, I can't I can't reason with that. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Um, so, sorry about talking about that. Anyways, and so that's... Remember last episode? Before I forget, last episode, I said that those two guys are both from the XAT thingy. Okay? And so I said, hey, XAT thingies, that's, that's, that's not... Doesn't seem like a very good place. Don't go there. I completely take that back because somebody else... From the XAT thingy, after seeing that video, they said, I'm sorry that somebody scammed you from the XAT thingy. How about I pay you back the shiny Rayquazas that somebody else took? And at that, I was like, wow. Somebody wants to give me shiny Ray... Ooh, let's go fishing. Somebody wants to give me the shiny Rayquazas that somebody else took just because they want me not to think that, the, that, 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 that XAT is all that bad. And I was just sort of like, you know what? Keep your Rayquazas. I don't want your Rayquazas. The fact that you're offering me them because somebody else took my Pokemon shows me that there are good people on the XAT. Okay? So, when I, as, far, as far as the XAT thing goes, as far as I know about it, as from what people have told me, it's kind of like there's internet chat rooms on there. And, it's so, and so there's like certain chat rooms to like talk about certain different things. Anyways, I would advise caution when going there. But it's certainly not a bad... Uh, there's certainly good people there, and, I, and that guy proved it to me by offering them. I didn't accept it, because I would feel bad. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like accepting gifts. Do you guys know anyone who doesn't like accepting gifts? Well, basically, I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> um, oops. And so, yeah. Anyways, so I completely take back the statement I said about the XAT thing. I would advise caution, however, because it is like the internet. You know, the, the internet has this terrible reputation. Um... I, I, would, I would definitely recommend the forums, though. I, 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 there, there are a lot of good people there. Um, anyways, guys, so since I've been talking to you guys all about this whole situation... Oh! Before I... Before, and so what I've decided out of all this whole situation, I don't want to deal with this kind of thing anymore. So I am not going to be doing cross-generation trading anymore. That means I'm not going to be doing trades where, like, somebody offers in PTD1 and somebody offers in PTD2. In about four months, tops, in my opinion, Sam will have all the Pokemon able to be transferred over from PTD1 to PTD2. So I'm not worried about it at all. I'm in no rush to complete this collection. This is just a game. Like, I don't steal Pokemon from people. I'm not in a rush to complete this collection. This is just a... I, I just make these videos because I want to release something that I can be proud of and that people will enjoy. That's why I make these videos. And I and I, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of that. You guys have given, been giving me some awesome feedback. So to avoid this kind of thing happening again, I'm not going to be doing cross-generation trading. If you guys want to trade with me, make sure you transfer your Pokemon over to PTD2 if you want to trade with me. Um, with, for, for, with PTD1 Pokemon. Um, whoa, let, let me do a cut and see how much time we got here. <laughs> Alright guys, we're running really short on time here, so let's just quickly uh, finish this up here. Uh, Gloom, I kind of want to get past this, so symbolically Gloom will evolve into Blossom. Hopefully we can get past all the sadness of this whole situation and be very happy. And I'm going to do a giveaway of this Blossom because I've been talking to you guys for way too long. Um, if you guys want the Blossom, go ahead and let me know in the comments if you guys want to be hearing about all my trading adventures. Because sometimes I kind of feel bad for talking so long about trading. And sometimes it's sad and sometimes, you know. So let me know if you guys would like to hear about those or not. I'd, I'd, I'm fine either way. This is just a small little giveaway. It will be ending soon. Thanks guys for watching. As always, you can check out my channel for tons of awesome Pokemon Tower Dance videos, and I will catch you guys later.